All right, guys and gals, I'm back in here with another two more boxes of pennies. I did a little short. Um, bunch of the boxes that originally picked up were uncirculated, and these are two additional boxes I went and picked up. These are also uncirculated, either 2022 or 2023 Denver pennies in here. But this box here looks to be circulated. This looks, as you see, some copper there. So, yeah, we got some circulated coins here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open these up. They usually have quite a bit of glue. Let's see. That ain't too bad. Yeah, oh, that was the easiest one I've ever opened. All right, let's see if we got anything on top here. Ooh, what is going on with that one? Not sure there. Not seeing anything for wheat cents, but crossing fingers we get some wheat cents because we want to make sure we fill up this Lincoln Wheat Cent album here and have five on top. So we do need some earlier teens and 20s for sure. Um, so yeah, so we got a lot of wheat cents to fill in there, but let's go ahead and jump into this one box. Crossing fingers we get something. It is a Saturday, so the banks are closed. So it's probably going to be a one box hunt, but never know what we get out of here. Down 13 rolls in this box here. A lot of varieties actually set up here. So I'm actually stacking a lot more varieties after watching more videos. So a lot of varieties up here. We do have one wheat cent, which is a 1946S. We've got, this is the Denver, and then this would be one of the Philadelphia. The Philadelphia one, you want to look for that extra finger on there. And uh, so, yeah, so Denver. Anyhow, and then we've got one Canadian, which is actually, I think it's like a Jubilee or Anniversary little crusty on the other side but canadian there now this one here is kind of interesting it is a speared lincoln look at that that is crazy going right into his heart area i don't think it pops out on the back side there but yeah that's a pretty good size spear that should be a variety is what it should be 83d also i don't see anything for the double deer You'll see you'll have doubling on the 83D, so you want to make sure to look at that. Also, the 1988 uh, Philadelphia would probably have a doubled ear if you find one, too. But, yeah, that's a huge spear. Look at that. Interesting. All right, let's keep moving. All right, we worked through our way, what, 30, 29 rolls. So we got 21 left in here. I did pull out a couple more wheat scents. So we got the 54 Denver and also the 56D. Not a whole lot of wheat scents, which, like I said, is about normal for me. Usually getting 10 wheat scents is kind of normal, but, I mean, a handful at a time out of these boxes is what I'm usually getting. Just want to show you a couple of oddities that I pulled out. This one here is 1989. You see it's kind of cool copper colorish that's on the top side there. It's not even a quarter of the way, but pretty interesting how that's looks like it's all zinc on the rest around it. And this the uh, um, coppering that's up on top. I say I didn't put this one under the scope. Let me see. If, just some scratching. Yeah. So anyhow, but yeah, this kind of interesting the way that looks almost just like a coppering coloration of it. But got that one. This one here is a 1987 Philadelphia. Let's see what's exactly on this one. So. This one here is pretty cool. Look at this crack. Comes all the way down the back side of his ear and stops in the back side of his ear there. It's a lot of abrasion marks on there for where they try to clean it up. I'm not sure what this is either coming out through here. It's actually going below the R. I didn't see any, any um, clashing or anything on the reverse here. It's just a lot of abrasion marks and stuff like that on here. So. Pretty interesting. And it's got a nice little chip, die, die chip there across here. But then, too, we've got the 1983 Philadelphia. What did I pull this one off the side for? Get sidetracked doing a few things on top of what I'm got going on. So, 83, a lot of abrasion marks on there, too, like it's cleaned up. Oh, yeah. This one here has got a nice little crack going across here to the Monticello the building. Sometimes you come down here on the other side and the crack will actually pull out from Monticello building, the Lincoln Memorial. It'll actually come across here on the bottom side. I didn't see that. Pretty worn in, but and again, just another oddity to pull off and set aside. But another reason why I bring you in, because I was actually pulling the next roll here and I didn't check and I was actually starting to pop it. We do have a wheat scent ender. Probably the 50's fine. 
but we do have a wheat sin in there. I don't know if I can get this off one handed. Let's see. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna be on the other end here and see what we got just because uh, I got you here already. 1945 Philadelphia. So we do have another one for the board. Box number two is knocked out also. Got a, quite a few more varieties here set up. So this would be the third batch of varieties that I'm going to look through. We did get a few more wheat scents. We got a 37S there and then also a 50, 58D. I want to say we got that 45 Philadelphia along with uh, 58D. So we got quite a few wheat scents out of there. What, two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten as a normal. We need a few more Canadians. But let me go ahead and go through the varieties here. And then I'll show you what I got right here off to the side. Went through all the varieties. Um, actually went through all the 2009s also. And I put those back in the bag that I didn't need. But did get actually a really good selection in one box, which is really nice. And we actually got three, two upgraders and one that's going to fill the album slot. So that's going to be pretty nice. We did get some Canadians there. It looks like a 77, 80, 89. And then that nice little anniversary of Jubilee coin there. We've got the 37S, which moves to the 44 Philadelphia, a 45 Philadelphia. Come over to a 46 in San Francisco, 253 San Francisco's, and a 54 Denver, and then the 56 and 58 Denver's also. And as I mentioned, this 54D and then that 45 Philadelphia will upgrade the ones we have in the album. And then the spot filler there for the 37S that we have. So you come on up here for 37s we don't have anything in there so that's going to be a nice addition to the album um but then the finds for the hunts uh we did get that nice little 1983 speared lincoln which is crazy i mean you can see that broad daylight look at this we got a clipped planchet a nice clipped planchet 1979 it looks like it's almost a little clipped on the top up here but definitely on the bottom as you see there so nice little clip plant in there. Nice little find. So that was all that was cool. These right here we definitely need to put up under the scope. This is gonna be in 1992. Now this 92 has something interesting on the back. I'm not for sure what it could be. Um it's actually right here going down through the buildings. It's probably just feed your finger marks. There's some more there. You come up down here, there's another one here. Come by the building here. Looks like it's actually going into the edging of the coin. So kind of interested is, I'm not for sure. It might be just figure finger marks, but a lot of detail on this uh, 92 also though. So there's like a little portion of the pillar doubling there. So yeah, just held it off to the side. I think that's figure finger marks of it. Like I said, this 92 is in really good condition. So just an oddity to add in. We did have that 1989 with that extra almost quartering a uh, portion of copper looks like on there and then at 83 and at 87 with that extra details that was in there but man that that spike thing is still kind of interesting to me 1983d anyhow nice hunt one box hunt sorry we didn't have a two box hunt i tried today like i said on saturday and i took back the other two boxes but it is what it is it just happens um crossing fingers come monday tuesday time frame got some more coins to search through so y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button plenty more videos to come and uh, hit that like button. You'll have a fantastic day.